Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trail Makers. Now this is a game where you get to build all sorts of vehicles and if you go fast enough you can break the sound barrier. Now in my previous videos I broke the land speed record, I broke the air speed record, the boat speed record, the underwater speed record. But today I'm going to be doing something completely different and that I'm going to try and make a supersonic bridge. Yes, a bridge that can move at the speed of sound. Now, I think to start off with, I might actually head into the workshop. I've never actually had a look around in here. Uh, but what if we were to search bridge, tower bridge, the description, Zay de Bruch Hotch mit Plüschtif nach offen dun Druxin Nokmalum Sizu Zalken. I know languages. We'll give it a download anyway. Oh, we, we have a half bridge. Yep, let's give that a download. Anyway, we're out here in the test zone. Let's load up some of these bridges. So there is one of the... Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is actually a bridge. How did he make those? Oh, that's really cool. Fair play. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a staircase inside. Apparently, I am going up it. All right, and here we go. We're on the bridge. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I fell through the bridge. <laughs> I finally understand my emo haircut. This is emotional. Alright, well, anyway, this gives me a good idea of what is sort of possible in terms of bridge building. Of course, we've also got Tower Bridge. Yeah, pretty cool. I wonder what, what are the aerodynamics like on this thing? Yeah, pretty red. Thought so. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> Alright, so honestly, I feel like the best thing to do is probably to build a bridge myself. So I'm going to start with a cockpit in the middle somewhere. Then I'm going to put a floor in. And then what sort of bridge do I want to do? I feel like I want to do like a truss bridge. Now we have these aerodynamic wedges. I mean, they're only fairly aerodynamic. I mean, actually, they're quite green. That I guess that could work. But if I grab this and shove them under there. And we've sort of made the first bit of a truss. Because I can copy this to, to there-ish. Copy them both next to it. And then I just need like a straight line along the top. So I think we'll just use the cube block and then we'll just copy that backwards a load of times. Grab this whole arm, copy it to this side, add some cross braces in. And would you look at that? We've got a truss bridge. <laughs> now, if I were to add some wheels, I think I can just do a bit of jiggery pokery with this. How big is a racing wheel in comparison? Oh, actually, that's that's pretty good. So I can shove one in there, copy one to that side. Do a bit of that and then hopefully we have a movable bridge. I've just got to add an engine. And in this game, the more engines you add, the faster you go. So I've got I got five in there. Because so this is quite quite a beast of a bridge. Um and then I guess we're gonna we're gonna hop in. <laughs> this is so dumb. And we're gonna see how this gets on. So oh man, it's it's a hundred mile an hour bridge. 140 mile an hour of bridge. Okay, that's actually quite surprising, I won't lie to you. Um, the downside of this, we don't have any steering, obviously. Uh, so that might be something we want to improve on. But my, my sort of main thinking in terms of getting this really, really fast is can I replace the blocks with engines? Because I think as long as it's all connected, that like counts as power. So I can probably get rid of these cross braces, replace them with engines as well. And then we end up with something a bit like that. <laughs> so basically, I've just replaced the roof with, with engines. Um, I could probably replace the base for engines, actually. But let's jump in and we'll see how this... Oh my goodness! It's, uh, it's wheeling! <laughs> the power! It's like a dragster! So that's got us up to 215 miles an hour. That must be the fastest bridge ever made. Oh, and braking is a bit risky. We, we front flip. All right, let's just have another go to see that... The absolute power! Look at it! <laughs> Okay, one other thing I did want to try before we move on is if I just add some extra wheels. Okay, I've now got two at the front and two at the back. Oh my goodness, it's, it's shaking. Anyway, let's go. And does more wheels make more speed? I'm not sure if it does. It shouldn't do, technically. But uh, I don't think adding engines should make you faster, technically, either. Uh, 213. Oh, actually, we're a little bit slower. Okay, good to note. Right, so next up then, let's get rid of this floor. Because the, the floor, it may as well it may as well just be engines. Alright, so now we've ended up with that. <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome. Um, I don't really know what to do with my cab. Like, whether to replace engines. I mean, I could just move it to the front and do like that for now. I mean, aerodynamics, they're actually pretty good. Uh, we can definitely make things better, but let's just see how this gets on. Lots and lots of engines. I'm a bit worried about how this is going to go. Right, ready? Oh, no more wheeling. Oh, look at the speed. 280 miles an hour. 
Are we going to crack 300? We've cracked 300 mile an hour in a bridge. Oh, man. Right. Okay, that is good. Now, looking at the parts number, we've got 300 parts. I'm pretty sure the limit is somewhere around 700. Right, so we've got this behind. I'm just going to delete the wheels and then delete those. All right, let's see if we grab all of this and then move it forwards. Oh, look at that connection. Love to see it. I mean, since this is a bridge, I don't need to support it in the middle. So I'm going to delete these middle wheels. And then just going to fill the gaps with engines in the middle. Nice. Oh, man, I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to slightly tweak this. Because I didn't realize I didn't put these trusses together properly. Oh, that is good. Okay, we'll just fix this back one then. So same thing, delete a gap down the middle. Delete these wedges. Delete some from the roof. And hopefully I can just grab all that, move it to the right. We've just got to do the top of this truss in the middle now. So fill that in with engines. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's ridiculous. And then this bridge should move a little bit faster than the last one, I'd, I'd imagine. Oh, ooh. ooh. Okay, downside, I feel like we might be too heavy now. Can you see our wheels have, like, sunk into the ground? Yeah, this this might not move as fast as I'm expecting it to. Let's have a little go. You can sort of see at the front, there's definitely still a gap under there. We're 400 miles an hour in a bridge. 420 miles an hour. Nice. Right, and we've only just used, like, half the pieces we're meant to. Do I just make this thing bigger or do I try and add some aerodynamics and stuff now? Like, I feel like to the front, it's probably worth copying these wedges. So that's going to make things a lot smoother there. And then I'll copy them across for all of these cross braces. Right, and to be honest, I think I just want to test that. Because uh, obviously, whilst I've made things a lot nicer aerodynamically, I have added more weight without adding more power. So we'll see if this makes a positive impact. So up to four. Oh man, look at the speed. We are creaming it. 500 miles an hour. 550 miles an hour in a bridge. 560. Blooming hell. Right, okay, so that is good. Now, the next thing I wanted to try is something with aerodynamics. So in this game, my understanding was the aerodynamics that you see on the arrows, like just the visible ones that the game give you, uh, that's, how, that's how aerodynamics are affected. Uh, rather than using, like, actual aerodynamics, like common sense. So, for example, making the front do that. Which, obviously, using common sense, that's that's bad. That's bad aerodynamics. All the air is going to get trapped in those gaps and stuff. But in this game, they're all just green. Because I think they're just planes. So, basically, if it's a slope, the game's like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, now, I think everyone's in agreement. That's definitely how the game works. However, let me just rotate these back to normal. Uh, in real aerodynamics, obviously, you'd need, like, a slope down the back of these straight edges as well, just to make the air, like, drift over a lot smoother. Now, because there's no arrows, I was under the impression the game didn't take that into account. But some of you in the comments said it actually does. So if we just go along and sort of do that thing. So basically, I'm just putting a slope on the back of all of these. We can see how that gets on. So if this goes faster... It sort of means the aerodynamics work. Now, it's sort of worth remembering as well. Um, we've added extra weight without adding extra power. So it's only going to go faster if the aerodynamic benefit outweighs the weight gain that we've added to the machine. So let's let's build, let's press go, and let's see what speed we get to. Now, we're creeping up to 500 miles an hour. It's slowing down a lot. Is it going to get to 550 again? It seems to be... 570, that's faster, isn't it? Okay, commenters, I think you're on something here. 575, right. So basically, it was worth, probably, adding those rather than, like, extra engines and things. Um, I'm going to sort out the aerodynamics at the front, because, look, we've got, we've got some red ones there. Now, the easiest thing to do here is go in the aerodynamic blocks, because I'm not worried about the look at the front. Like, obviously, that's, that's not part of the truss. I think we can grab a extremely aerodynamic wedge. And if we shove this in like that, shove one underneath as well. Remembering we don't actually need to rotate them because they don't act any differently. I will though, just to make it look a bit more realistic. So those red lines have been replaced with green ones. And you can see because these are super aerodynamic rather than the fairly aerodynamic 45 degree blocks. Can you see how fast the arrows are moving? That basically means it's even better. Um, so I should probably shove some of these on the front like that. That looks good. I should probably cover up the wheels and stuff. 
But yeah, for now, I think that's good. Let's see what giving it a pointy front has done to the speed. So 570, 580. It's crazy how just a little bit of aerodynamics can really, really ramp up the speed. I think we're about 585-ish. Right, so next up, I think it's time to increase our span. I mean, I feel like I should probably do that sort of thing, make the sides wider. Yeah, I feel like that makes more sense. So we'll just copy these all the way to the front. And then I'm sort of thinking, do I make this longer or do I try and fit engines in the actual truss pieces? I think to start off, let's keep this design and then let's just make it a bit longer. So grab all that, move it to the right, connected. Just attach those with more engines. All right, so now we've got 642 pieces out of the 700 we can use. Uh, so that's pretty good. We might we might even be able to add an extra... No, we can't, we can't add another truss. That's too many parts. Okay, so let's go with this then. Let's grab in the front. I'm a bit worried our span might be too long for our wheels. We might be like stuck on the floor. But uh, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Right, let's go. We're struggling to pick up speed, I think. Where are we? We're going 300 miles an hour already. I feel like it's quite a slow acceleration, but the, the top speed just seems to keep on going. Right, well, no, we've capped out at 430-ish. I feel like we need some more wheels. So I've added wheels to the middle, so technically this is a two-span bridge now. Let's see, has it helped the speed? Oh, I feel like that's going way quicker. That is going a lot quicker. We're up to 400 miles an hour already. Yeah, so we just had to pick up pick up the bridge a little bit, basically. What are we coming up to? 560, 570. I think we're going to crack 600 if we're patient enough. Or are we just below? Oh, I think we're just below it. Okay, so this has maxed out at just under 600 miles an hour. Uh, I will take that though, that's a, <laughs> it's a blooming truss bridge going 600 miles an hour. All right now, something I can do which will use the same number of parts, but should make things a lot more aerodynamic, is if I replace those with the 4x4 aerodynamic blocks, then I can make it look like that, which means that should be a lot more, well, a lot more aerodynamic, and therefore should go faster. I mean, those that are arguing this isn't really a truss bridge now, I just made it like weatherproof so so like when it's raining and stuff people that are using the bridge are not going to get wet but yeah let's try that out i mean sadly i could do like a really flat truss and make these all super aerodynamic but i feel like that wouldn't be structurally sound all right 600 miles an hour yes oh no look i've noticed can you see there there's a there's an engine the wrong way around <laughs> i accidentally rotated one anyway no time for that because we're up to 690 miles an hour can we hit 700 miles an hour in a bridge? Yes, we've done it. 700 miles an hour. I think we've got to get to like 750-ish for the old sonic boom. Now, since that roof made such a difference, I'm sort of thinking, what if I were to make the front a lot more aerodynamic? So what would be the best way of doing this? I feel like an offset cockpit will work better. Moving it back to there deleting those i'm just gonna have to fill in that gap with something because basically look if i if i grab my super aerodynamic blocks and shove them on the front you'll see because there's a gap behind them can you see that there's like there's a little gap there We've, we're getting the we're getting bad aerodynamics on the front of that engine uh, however if we just fill it in with like i don't know one of those then there's no longer a gap there which means we've got some good aerodynamics at the front i'm sort of thinking as well if i lose that wedge copy an engine forward and I can just move that to the side to cover it even more. Do the same on this side and then copy that to the middle. And then look at that green. Okay, let's see how this gets on. Oh, I didn't change. Hang on, I'm going to have to change that little piece. Why are you there? Why are you there? All right, there we go. Much better. Let's get this going and see what speed we can get up to. All we've done is made the front a little bit more aerodynamic. And that's pretty much it. Now, worth noting as well, we've actually, we've lost a couple of engines by doing this as well. So if we're going faster, that's, that's purely down to the aerodynamics. We're up to 700 miles an hour. Seven te- Oh, there's a wall. That, <laughs> that, that was a wall. All right, so let's go and let's see, can we crack the sonic barrier? Are we going to see a sonic boom with a bridge? So we're back up to 710 miles an hour. I feel like we're not going to do it, actually. We very much stopped gaining speed. 
We got we've definitely got 720. I think 750 is a bit too much of a stretch without adding more engines. And I'm sort of thinking, would it be cheating if I like if I just filled in the top like with engines? If I just made like a roof? Surely not. I've seen bridges with like full-on roofs before. Oh no, we only got to there. It is what it is. We're literally proper maxed out. 699 out of 700. Um, so let's see, is this new bridge any quicker? I'm not convinced that- Oh no, look how slow it's going. It's going- it's going really slow. And it's all- it's rattling about all over the place as well. Although you still got up to 700 miles an hour. Fair play bridge. Fair play indeed. Alright, let's see. If we delete a wheel, what does our complexity go down to? Oh, our wheel uses 10. So I'm wondering, is it worth losing like 10 engines just so I can get an extra wheel in somewhere? Wait, that's really bad maths. I need two wheels. I need one other side map. But now we've got more wheels, so hopefully we're more supported. Oh, 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 careful, careful weapon there. Look at the back. I lost a load of stuff there. Sonic boom, Sonic wall. <laughs> right, well, that was sort of successful. I mean, I died, I hit a wall, but I did Sonic boom. Come on, come on. Yes, Sonic boom. It's a super Sonic bridge. We're about Can we hit 800 miles an hour? Yes, 800 mile an hour bridge. <laughs> we did it. We did it. The world's fastest bridge in the world. Oh my goodness, 840, 850 miles an hour in a truss. So I think the only thing to say is peace, love. And trust me, I'm a supersonic engineer. We're nearly at 900 miles an hour. Bye, guys.